Welcome to Accurate with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What is tumbling trigger in Azure Data Factory? This can be as simple as uh, I ask you here, or this can be a scenario based. So, so somebody can give you, hey, we have a hundred thousand files sitting there between um, different uh, uh, dates. They were created and uh, you need to uh, move those files or copy those files between uh, Azure Blob Storage to the Azure Data Lake or something. Uh, then how you would do that uh, and how you will only maybe do first one specific day at a time and that's going to be one of the scenario they can give you and uh, then other scenario they can give you like hey we have a store procedure that need to run uh, uh, from uh, last one year for each of the day and then uh, from uh, once it's uh, all the data is loaded in the next day it should start from the last uh, date and uh, what you have run the pipeline and then uh, move forward uh, each day so these are uh, all scenario will be covered with the tumbling uh, trigger because the tumbling trigger uh, are the type of the trigger that fires as periodic time interval from a specific start time and uh, retains the state. Uh, so let's say if uh, you are starting from uh, uh, some date and uh, let's uh, you have uh, May, uh, May uh, today is May 19, right? So if uh, it is uh, May and uh, May 12, and that's uh, you know you want to start, and now May 19, uh, you can tell like you divide into each of the day. Now this is a each day window, and uh, it's going to divide it. Up. So it's going to start from here, and then go for this window. Then uh, this window start goes here. So these are different windows or uh, period of time it started. Uh, so from uh, 13 and all, all that so you now you have two parameters that you can have start and end so this is your start this is your end and then when for the next window this is gonna be your start and this is gonna be your end you know so these are all windows created and now these window you can use in copy activity where you have last modified the start date and time and uh, and uh, last modified end dates so, so you can just uh, move the copy or uh, copy the file for one day in one copy activity then the next uh, instance of a copy is going to do second window third window and all that the same way you can pass these parameter to your store procedure between start date and date and these are different windows that they will be created and you can run that once you are done with the loading that the last date or time it will save they will be here when the 20th come that it will only load the data for this date range so that's your tumbling trigger windows and it retain the state it means it's going to once it's done with that this date then this is the last it is going to keep it and uh, after one day the next uh, will be starting from 20 and the uh, end will be 21st um, tumbling windows are series of fixed width uh, so you see that is uh, here it is only one day non overlapping so they are not overlapping so it is a uh, may 12 you know starting and then uh, you have may 13 and from uh, may 13 to may 14 and all that now a continuous time interval so that's important a tumbling window trigger has one to one relationship as uh, with the pipeline and only one reference a single pipeline as you notice that it is uh, keeping a track of the time uh, for which it has run uh, and uh, for which uh, for what will be the next time interval uh, that's uh, uh, related to the pipeline because if you relate this to the multiple pipeline then uh, uh, once it's run for one is it cannot keep that state so tumbling trigger is only specific with one pipeline and keep uh, uh, will be referenced by the single pipeline because it need to track the time now I told you a lot more details here you know what you can tell the uh, uh, person and uh, I have told you both scenarios uh, where you are uh, using store procedure and you need to provide the start time and end time uh, between your parameters you can use tumbling trigger and also uh, I told you if uh, you need to load hundreds of thousands of file and you want to divide them according to each day and once uh, all those loaded and next day you want to only load the latest day that will be also tumbling trigger that will help you to do that I have both scenarios and uh, in a detail uh, in my uh, videos and what I'm going to do I'm going to put the videos uh, here and uh, you can just simply click uh, and uh, see or watch those videos and uh, then uh, I will also put the link in the description so you can watch both videos uh, if you want to give more details uh, for the tumbling trigger thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in next video